My name is Jeff Osowski. I'm on the Board of Trustees at the Sterling Hill Mining Museum, and I'm also head of the Education Committee, and our role is to develop education programs to support uh, what goes on at the Mining Museum. The Sterling Hill Mining Museum is a very unique educational experience. It's, it is entertaining for sure. I mean, it's a great place to come. You go in the mine and you get to pick up shiny rocks. But it's also a great educational experience that's very relevant in today's, uh, the life of today's children. Uh, when you ask a kid, where does this telephone come from? Where does this cell phone come from? They'll tell you from the Verizon store. Where does that chair come from? They'll say from the Walmart. And we can show them where the, uh, the, uh, the things that they use in their everyday lives that are relevant to them come from. They come from mining, basically. It is a museum for sure, but it's not a museum that just simply shows off things that were collected elsewhere. When you come to Sterling Hill, you actually go into the mine, you see the things that came out of the mine and what they were made into. So it's, in that sense, a very real experience and a very rich experience. Well, we can talk about adding value to uh, what goes on in classrooms in the state of New Jersey, for example, or in any state for that matter. Teachers are required to teach certain things in science. Everything we do here educationally, the field trip experience, the education programs, the teacher training programs, are all aligned with what teachers are required to teach in the classroom. So when a teacher teaches earth science or geology or social studies in the classroom and they bring their students here on a field trip, they're going to get something that connects directly to what they're required to teach in the classroom and that's very valuable to them. The field trip experience here, the education programs we provide here, will enhance, extend and enrich what a teacher is required to do in the classroom. Uh, we do a lot of professional development for teachers uh, uh, in the areas of earth science and social studies. And when a teacher comes here for a professional development program or if we go to them to provide it, this, uh, uh, in, uh, it counts toward what they're required to do in terms of their overall professional development. It is a continuing education program. The educational experience is, you know, at its, at its most basic level, uh, is designed to uh, improve the science learning and the social studies learning of students in the classroom. But in the long range, we're looking to inspire children to become the scientists of the future. We need, in our country, in the world, we, we need engineers, we need chemists, we need physics, we need people who know a lot about science because it's a science-rich world that we live in. So yeah, we, when we see that fourth grader come through here or that high school student come through here, we want to be the spark that inspires them to become the scientists of the future.